So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to calculate the tributary area of a column. So in this, uh, in your engineering notebook, you're going to need to put that uh, picture into it again, and then label it 3.2.2 loads column tributary area example across the top. If you want, you can cut off this and just write handwrite uh, column tributary example in for your own self. Now, what we're going to do is. We're going to take a look at our terminology. We want to make sure we've got that all straight. So down here we have a column. Those are the things that look like the little letter I's. We have a beam that in this instance is running uh, horizontally on the x-axis. And then we have uh, girders. So girders in this example are going to go vertical. Now, we're going to calculate the... Uh, tributary area for the column located right here. Now tributary area always means one half the distance to something and in this instance we're going to go along this girder until we find another column and we're going to count up so there's one two three spans so that means that halfway to this girder is going to be up one and a half and then very same thing going down one two three so we're going to go down one and a half and I just put a little dot right in there we're also going to need to know the uh, distance that is or we need to know that the distance is one half from this uh, column right here to this column we're going to have a uh, half of this span and then going the same thing there's one span so we're going to go to half on there so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come up until I intersect with that one and I'm going to go over until I intersect with that guy there and I'm going to come down here and do the same thing and over here and then I'm going to draw these lines in. And this box is the tributary area for this column. We're going to have to do a little bit of math here. Well, what we need to know is, I should say, is that the area from here to here is going to be one half of this distance over here. One half of 20 feet. So that's going to equal 10. Uh, along the bottom, this is going to be right here. This is going to be one half of 18 feet. And that value is going to be 9 feet 10 feet and 9 so the tributary area so I'm going to write this down here here for a column is going to be the numbers of 18 feet because it's 18 feet from this area here to here so this is going to be equals to 18 feet 
times 20 feet, which is the distance from up here to down here, times 20 feet. And that is going to, when I do the math on that, going to be 18 times 20. That's going to equal 360 feet squared. So that is 360 feet squared. So that is the tributary area of a column.